But with everything that is not going on in the sports world, when events that are planned for late June, early, mid, late July are getting canceled, not postponed, canceled, and it was made official yesterday and it will be made official later today, Mark, for the first time since the final year of World War II, we will not have a Wimbledon and we will not have a British Open. Seventy-five years we have had Wimbledons and U.S. Opens, and the only thing, or British Opens, excuse me, and the only thing that has stopped them from occurring was a world war. But this worldwide pandemic is going to claim the 2020 Wimbledon already has, and later today it will be made official, according to Golf Digest, it will claim the 2020 Open Championship. I am stunned at the cancellation versus postponement. I truly am, David. That they and have one just... One or both? Both. Of, okay. Of well, I both. Didn't know if, I didn't know if you thought, because like I found interesting, I was at first very surprised about Wimbledon. Thinking to myself, well, the French Open's moved it back to late September. Why can't we push this sucker back? And they talked about, well, a lot less daylight. Huh, uh, okay. All right. I, I, I get it. Uh, but come on now. I mean, you could pl- start your day a little earlier. Instead of starting at 2 in the afternoon, like you guys do, you could start at 11 a.m., make up for it that way. So, But then they talked about, believe it or not, the do. And part of the reason that the tournament's played when it is is that you go a little earlier or you go a little later, quite frankly, the grass is a lot wetter. And it's not safe to play on okay. the grass. A couple months later, I went, hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, this isn't clay this isn't hard court all right you know you only got two of the courts covered we've all walked out into a little morning dew before so we we get that i understand huh okay so all right but then let's move on to the open championship here we go here we go which is even later than wimbledon i mean it's a couple weeks later yeah I, i tell you the one thing it does show me at least hints to me, David, is that either they're far more fearful or they're far more informed. Or, yeah, cautious. I I was very surprised about the Open Championship also because we've talked about it. We we think golf is a quote-unquote safer sport in this then tennis even, you know, the, the one thing I do believe you have to be concerned about in tennis is, is the ball itself. And I thought that they were going to have to make a rule change, Mark, and maybe they will even for whenever it is we have tennis this year, if we do, is that each player may get their own balls of which they serve with. Instead of here are the six or seven balls that are going to be in play for six service games, uh uh-uh. Here are your balls to serve with. Here are your balls to serve with. Maybe for the set, here are your first set tennis balls. You use these, you use these. When the first set's over, put them in the thing. Okay, now here you go. You get new balls to serve with. You get new balls to serve with. I'm I'm wondering if, you know, because you could, in theory, get it. You know, it gets on the ball, and yep. obviously you could then transfer it. No, there's no doubt. Where so in golf, obviously, everybody plays their own golf ball. Correct. So I thought that golf is even a safer sport from a distancing standpoint in the sport itself than tennis. Agree 100%. Now, I will say I'm sure with the Open Championship, the light is a similar problem because they play golf for, my goodness, you know, 16 hours a day, basically. Yeah, I, I guess. I mean, you couldn't shrink the field a little bit. I mean, you couldn't knock 156 down to a buck 44. I mean, oh, I'm I, I just, I'm very surprised. And you couldn't just push it to August. I mean, right. they couldn't have gone first. That was what I, I did think. It was interesting that the French Open and you know the PGA kind of already tried to claim the Olympics, although they hadn't put it in stone yet. 
at least it seemed that the golf world was talking to one another saying, how do we, you know, how can we organize this to get all of them in? Now, the PGA is scheduled for the San Francisco area. Uh, the U.S. Open is scheduled for 30 miles northeast of New York City at Wingfoot. Don't know if location is going to play a role here, like the NBA is apparently debating, baseball is debating, all right, if we're starting later than even we thought, the NBA is talking about are we going to have to find one or two central locations and send everybody to a certain place, like they're talking Vegas. You know, can you go in August? Can you just be in Vegas? And instead of doing what they do with Summer League, can you do it with, say, 16 NBA playoff teams? commandeer a couple of hotels you've got the one or two arenas and then you just you do your thing you commandeer it i mean they're they're kicking around all sorts of scenarios a a baseball trial balloon that got thrown out yesterday which seth everett was making his uh, appearances on shows around the country and he was just trashing it was a 90 to 100 game season it starts later and it goes later. It goes to almost Thanksgiving and a World Series at a neutral location, and they pick Dodger Stadium. <laughs> and Seth thinks it's one of the more stupid things he's ever heard. Well, uh, okay, uh, I don't know. I mean, it, it could be that or, or we don't have a season. Well, you know what's funny? I disagree with Seth wholeheartedly on the neutral site for the World Series. It's something that's been bantered about for years. Now, it's never ga- gotten a lot of steam, but baseball has wondered for quite a while when the Super Bowl site and the Super Bowl became such an event, baseball looked at it and said, is there something we can take from that? Is there a way to put our World Series and have it bid upon? And it usually ends up dying. But it's not. this is not the first time that they've brought up a neutral site for a World Series. And I'm sure baseball is also looking at Final Four and going, well, you know, they can play three games over the course of 48-plus hours in one central location. It seems to work. Why can't we do something like that? I think because it's best of seven is why it wouldn't work, but but that's just me. But I think a lot of us in a certain city where we could get tickets to it, you know, you would actually, then it seems like World Series ticket might not be that hard to get. And for a one-time thing, it would be really special. Well, and you could see where the World Series could then be in Florida. I mean, why couldn't it be Miami, Tampa, Orlando, wherever the case may be? Well, it couldn't be in Tampa because they don't have a stadium, but Miami would be a great spot. Well, and Marlins Park now is also, it's intimate. Now, it's only about 35,000 seats, but then again, that may give you a better chance of selling it out and if you had to have it in an event plus it's got a it's got a roof so but the question which has been out there now for a little over a week i think it was a week ago today that kirk herb street did his interview in which he was asked about the upcoming football season and he said yeah i don't think we're going to have one because to me, you can't do this unless you've got a vaccine, and they say they're not going to have a vaccine until 2021, so I don't think we're going to have a football season. And most people disagreed with them. I disagreed with them. I still disagree with them. But when you see what is happening here in the sports world, I mean, Wimbledon and the British Open canceled, not postponed, canceled does make you wonder. I mean, the Indy 500 moved till August 23rd. Did they give themselves enough time? The Kentucky Derby has moved themselves to the Saturday of Labor Day weekend, September 5th. At first, when these events rescheduled, we were like, oh, well, they're giving themselves plenty of time. Okay. (laughs) We think... The only event that gave itself plenty of time is the Olympics. Right. They gave a year. They did. That's plenty. Right now, that's plenty of time. Anything else, David, it's a crapshoot. Even the NFL, which is full speed ahead on 
everything. They haven't altered a thing. They have pushed back about a month their schedule release date. You wonder if the NFL is thinking of, hmm, are we going to have to push back the start of our season? Should we play it safe? Because, Mark, do you think the owners are willing to give up their preseason games? Yes. Um, that's a very serious question. Yes. Do you think the owners are willing to give up their two preseason games? Well, I'm sorry. Willing or will... Well, it doesn't matter if it's willing or not. They, okay, because I'm wondering if that's what they're debating right now. I think it is. Okay? I that know it, it is. It's, that it's not the regular season. That the, To me, the regular season schedule's done. It's been done. All right, but what they're debating right now, I believe, behind closed doors are, hey, guys, we are not going to be able to, br- you know, this whole bringing them in in late July thing, the whole Hall of Fame weekend, uh, the Hall of Fame game, and then these preseason games, are, mm, I, I don't know about that. By those. the way, what was the Hall of Fame game this year, Pittsburgh and? It wasn't Pittsburgh and Dallas, was it? Ah, uh, yeah. Was yeah, it was. Hall of Fame game? Yeah, it was. So, you know, I wonder if that's what the NFL is considering. And if the NFL may be thinking, you know, maybe we just need to push everything back two to four weeks to make sure we're in the clear here. You know what? You're on to something, David, because even if they want a two-week preseason, even if they want zero preseason – they probably need to make mention of the Hall of Fame more quickly than anything else. I mean, think about it. It's always a big deal with inductions, but when you're putting the Steelers and Cowboys in the game... Well, and remember, this is the, the 20... Class. Right. This is the big class. Right. One time only 20 people go. And In a weekend of I inductions, I think, because they're not doing them all on the same day, it's a really big celebration. You know, if you're the NFL here, just throwing stuff out there, do you do away with preseason games, but you want to keep Hall of Fame weekend? Does the last weekend, does Labor Day weekend become Hall of Fame weekend? And everybody gets one preseason game? No, no, no. I'm even thinking no preseason games. I mean, hey, come on. College football does it without preseason No, I know, I know. The NFL could do it. But the owners have to be willing to give up the money. I mean, it's 20% of their ticket revenue. Are they willing to give it up? In the grand scheme of things, it's not a lot of money. <laughs> it's not. But, but it's, are they willing to give it up? And and it's not precedent. You know, the owners can sit there and say this is a one-time thing, and everybody wants to see preseason football disappear, which next year, one game will. This is the last year for preseason games. Correct. Boy, it'd be great if we had none. Let's throw that trial balloon out there, see if it works.